If you're the defender in the opposite second rank rosette, the same priorities remain. Attack the white pieces to gain tempo while moving your forces toward the center of the board. So in this case, that's the obvious move and it's a good move. And the only reason for this check is to keep the king from entering the center of the board too. Um, he could also just play rook d5 to block the check. Uh, either way, white has kept the forces out of the center, but black has moved toward the center. Call it a draw. White has a long way to go here. And again here, if uh, the defender is to move, gain tempo by attacking white pieces. Uh, he could do this, moving toward the center. Unfortunately, you can see it's a little too easy to push him back. So it's probably better to go ahead and give this check. And, okay, he's going to go that way. So we're starting to consider a harassment third rank kind of defense here. Um, White doesn't have to immediately dive into that, but in the end it's kind of hard to avoid. Okay, this is familiar stuff. Now uh, Black has chosen to take this toward a javelin. I think that's reasonable if you're a defender because the javelin has been very little talked about in the, in the uh, literature. And once again for the defender, go ahead and gain tempo that way. <coughs> um, once again, king d6 equals rook c6 check and an immediate stalemate. Again, the stalemate defenses, get familiar with those, use them. Black is almost off the edge of the board. It's not going to take much more to get the king off the edge of the board. You can go that way. 27 moves from mate here. Now there's one last rosette that I want to talk about here. This is, the kings are adjacent, so queen c5 is an adjacent rosette. Um, and in fact, it's the best thing to play here. Uh, it's the only good move. Everything else loses five moves at least. That's losing for black. Uh, it's just as losing as the Philidor position, but it's more flexible, so it's a good idea to get familiar with these variations. So let's say that black decides to maintain that second rank type defense. Okay, handle this like you would a javelin or any other distant defense position. Check from the diagonal next to the ch uh, square of the, um, next to the diagonal of the rook. King goes there, check there, comes here, and begin moving your king in. There's just no way now for black to escape mate. So again, if he falls back this way, give this check, give that check. It forces him to reunite his pieces. And from here, there's no good way to avoid mate. Uh, please notice that king d8 leads to queen f8 checkmate the microwave mate pattern. If we look at some of the other options, rook to d1, doing the distant defense this way, this is the right thing to do. Go for the javelin. So any other attack here loses time and moves. Um, that's the quickest way to the end. Right here, we're only eight moves from mate. Uh, in fact, the best defensive move at this point is king b, uh, rook b7. And that allows an immediate Philidor position. That's the best. Okay, let's go back to our starting position. White has formed this rosette. It's a killing position. So he tries to survive over there. Give this check. And I think you can see what's coming. It's lost to the fork. And we've also got this possibility. Give the check here. That's okay to do. And he doesn't want to just immediately walk into a pin and loss of the rook. So you go there. And you've got check there. And black has to play. Um, 
king d8, sacrificing the rook immediately to avoid mate on the move. Once again, rook c7 leads to queen e8 mate. That's such a pretty pattern. And it's very easy for the defender to walk into because we're playing with a queen instead of a rook. These back rank mates crop up with great frequency.